Yo, what up, YouTube? Wanted to try something a little different today. Do my own little version of music recommendations. Using my own music as like a vehicle. Hopefully I don't ramble too long. Um, just talking about some of my favorite tracks and shit. So, first up, um, I got a song called Cause and Effect with the homie Trey. Shout out to the shooter. And I want to say the production style is... You know what? Cause and effect. I would say that's influenced by both Mick Jenkins and Rome Streets. But I'll specifically say Mick Jenkins because I was listening to a lot of pasta before I made that beat. If you've heard pasta off of The Patience, you'll probably like get a similar feel so I'll play a little bit of that in the background or as its own segment whichever one I keep that same energy you get fucked up cause you don't well aware we seem to be instead in the scheme not so debonair or how you prepare so it's no comparing to me you can feel the air when I swing So the sheer force that I put forth Has me up there with a lead you, bitch. With the weights off, I could take off And you wouldn't dare match the speed On the face off, tend to break y'all So it's no standing with me on my left. I just make calls that erase frauds That be then no steam Niggas laid off, they don't play ball Like a big man with the speech yeah. Disrespect gets me sight. So you can kind of hear like How I kind of like imitated the style of that track and then just in general now that I've really like gotten into writing I've been a fan of Mick Jenkins as a lyricist for years so he always influences me on that end but yeah cause and effect was pretty cool to kind of do just to like really get that that Mick Jenkins feel of, of that specific track. And shout out to the Kick Push Goddess, Sonata. I always love getting like other homies that don't really do music into, into my music process. So another reason why that track was cool to make was I got her on it, which was dope. So yeah. For cause and effect, pasta, Mick Jenkins, off of the patience. So, if you haven't heard Mick Jenkins, what are you doing? Go listen. And then next up, yeah, specifically, Rome Streets. I was listening to a lot of Rome Streets before I made, uh, I got a song called Ink Block. Another beat, but well, not just beat. Another song I made with uh with the homie Trey. Fuck being humble, I am the best. And my bars hit like Anthony Rumble. I am possessed. Bang on my chest. I'm the king of the jungle. What I possess isn't suppressed. And don't mumble nor fumble. Paint the town. Smoke house filled with lead, bullets spread to your kinfolk. Curb stumping niggas till my foot broke. Giving sweet chin music, nigga. That's a motherfucking footnote. A lot of. I feel like the production is very uh, Griselda influence. So it, it was. It's been very cool to get into him and then kind of like take that vibe and try to try to recreate that vibe for my own shit uh, 
also also his ad libs. He got some of the the funniest ad libs that I've I've tried to incorporate recently. Uh, matter of fact, it's probably I've probably used I've definitely used like y'all niggas trash on that track Ink Flat. No, if not Ink Flat, cause and effect, yeah. So yeah, like his ad lib style, and then of course his general production. I've tried to implement into my own shit. So yeah, Rome Streets. I don't have like a specific song, but shout out to shout out to him just in general, like all his shit. Like if you haven't heard Rome Streets, again, what are you doing? Got to check him out. And then for the last one. I think I'm gonna do yeah three at a time so it don't I don't ramble too long. But last one, this is kind of like different because she's not the same type of artist. But Doja Cat, man, like I started getting into Doja Cat heavy since uh, she dropped Scarlet because I feel like she really. She really like rapping, rapping on that shit. But specifically like her ad libs. Her ad lib style and then specifically on a... Uh, it's actually 21 Savages track. Uh, what is that shit? N-H-I-E. Which I heard was her track. I don't know how true that is. But yeah, like her ad libs on there influenced... Uh, certain ad-libs on uh, this track I got You're Messy shout out to you you hockey show yeah so I fuck with like how she kind of like her layering of ad-libs which is kind of like sometimes it'll be like harmonies give me the jewels for sure she and not yours nigga Get in my way, spirit go wave, see ghosts like four more, nigga. What's up? Don't get fucked about criticisms, nigga. Shut up. Only what's inside my vision, do what I want. Can't help that, I know no different. I'm unbothered. Maybe cause I keep on winning. So, yeah, harmonies is something, something I've been working on for sure. Especially lately trying to um layer vocals and over and over multiple times in a way that sounds pretty cool so yeah shout out to doja cat and scarlet and nhie for influencing your meshy specifically the ad libs i don't know i don't know what this is part one episode one of my influences alright y'all until the next one peace